You had plenty money, 1992. You let the SJWs make a fool of you. Why don't you do right? Like some other comics pros do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here. Give me some money, too. Good evening everybody, this is Gene from NYC again, and I'm back with another video. This may be the second or third video of the day, I'm not sure. Uh, it's Sunday night here in New York City, two minutes from 11 o'clock. Not two minutes to midnight, but two minutes to 11 o'clock. So, just about an hour off. Anyhow, before I properly start the video, I would like to welcome two new subscribers to the whole, to the fold I should say, what am I talking about? To the fold. Uh, one is AFS772 and the other is, I'm not sure if I'm saying the name right, but I believe the name is Rokuro Karisu. If I said that wrong, I apologize, but uh, welcome to the channel. I hope that you continue to enjoy the content. So on to the content of this late night video. I was browsing the net as I often do, looking for something to talk about, and I wanted to talk about comics this time. Several of my videos recently, ever since I got my new computer and I've been fussing around with it, have been about video games, what's going on with video games, and whatnot. So I wanted this video to be about comics. So I came across an article on a website called Cosmic Book News. Interesting name. I like the put the uh, play on words about uh, Captain Marvel issue ten, which is due out in September. So the article reads, or part of the article, I should say. I'm not going to read the whole article, but the summary of Captain Marvel ten. Again, this is to be released in September is this. This is the summary, or, or I guess the uh, hook, the uh, pitch. And so it reads, It's official. New hero star is in and Captain Marvel is out. As Carol struggles to deal with her changing role and unravel the mystery of what is happening to her powers, a risky new alliance she's forged may turn out to be even more dangerous than she expected. Will Carol be willing to make it to make the ultimate sacrifice to save a world that has turned on her. So interesting premise. Interesting premise. The article, the greater article in and of itself on Cosmic New Cosmic Book News, you know, opines as to whether or not the character of Carol Danvers, uh, Captain Marvel, actually will die in this particular uh, issue, as is. Uh, speculated here in the in the little uh, advertise, advertisement will she will she make the ultimate sacrifice of course given that it's determined as ultimate sacrifice that doesn't have necessarily mean one's life it could mean the name the title who knows but what I find interesting is the idea of Captain Marvel Carol Danvers dying and what I asked myself was, would a death, would her death in the comics actually benefit the character? And I actually think it would. Though I think one of the first things we have to acknowledge and remember is that Carol Danvers, as a character, already is dead. Carol Danvers was last, herself, was last Carol Danvers back in 2010 at the end of the Brian Reed run back when she was still Miss Marvel. That in my opinion is the best solo run that she's had and I read her solo run or at least most of her solo run from the late 1970s. So there's a lot of history there and in my estimation her best, the, the best written work 
uh, for her as a solo character was the Brian Reed run that went on for 50 issues over about four years, from about 06 to about 2010. That's pretty much unheard of in today's comics, especially for a character who at the time was not a big name. She was kind of like a B-minus, C-list hero, and I like her. Uh, traditionally, I like the traditional version of Carol Danvers, the tragic warrior archetype, you know, the person who has all these um, self-doubt and, and all, all these hang-ups and personal issues, but still strives to to be better and improve herself. That's That's the version of Carol I like. And sadly, that version of Carol died in 2012 when Kelly Sue DeConnick was given the reins over the character and was allowed to reboot her as Captain Marvel. Not only did Carol's look change uh, from there, going, going from the uh, traditional look that she had over the years of being a very uh, beautiful, hyper-feminine, muscular woman, she was basically a muscle babe, to now this slimmer, more androgynous character. So not, not only did her look change, but her personality changed. Uh, if you're familiar with Civil War II in the comics, she became very violent and angry and aggressive to the point where she put Tony Stark into a coma. This is why so many comic fans don't like her. She was the villain in Civil War II, and comics following that event from 2012 never really addressed, at least in my opinion, never really addressed the fallout from Civil War II and her actions in Civil War II. She was clearly the bad guy. She was the heel. She was the villain. And then over the years, they've tried to reboot and, and reimagine again and again and again, trying to make her a hero and never quite addressing or having her pay for what she did in Civil War II. That's been a major issue. Another major issue is that ever since her reboot, in my estimation, she's never been truly heroic. She's been motivated by the wrong things, such as in the most recent uh, reboot. I did two reviews of it. I've, I have followed each issue. Either I've read it or I've seen reviews of it, but I did two reviews. Review of issue one and review of issue four on request. And for issue one, what I remember distinctly is that there's a moment in the book where a woman is kidnapped by the villain who's this very um, over-the-top caricature of a misogynist to, to the point where his name is Machismo. Kind of like the word machismo, right? Machismo, man. But anyway, uh, he kidnaps this this re this reporter girl, and Carol. There's a there's a panel where we read Carol's thoughts, and Carol's thinking to herself that she's not going to allow herself to lose this young woman to a seven-foot misogynist. That was her motivation to save the girl's life. To make sure that a misogynist didn't, didn't get his uh, hands on her. So I've been very critical and very upset over the course of the character ever since Kelly Sue and others such as Kelly Thompson and other writers have in my opinion, just totally marred and butchered her character so and, and effectively murdered her as it is. So, to me, the current Carol Danvers is not Carol Danvers, and she's effectively dead at the moment anyway. But if we look at the current Carol Danvers, the question is, will she die? And if she died, would it help? Will she die? I don't think so. I think either Kelly Thompson who sadly is not a very good writer for this. I've done two reviews, check them out. The most recent one was issue four, it was awful. I damned that book to hell <laughs> because it was that bad. So do I think that in the story proper, Carol Danvers is going to die? Not really. There'll be some sort of plot contrivance that will keep her alive. That or she'll die 
and then be immediately resurrected, similar to what happened with the Jane Foster as, as Thor. For, for those who may not be aware, Jane Foster was dying of cancer. She also had the power of Thor. It was a weird combination of things, but long story short, she died a warrior's death, went to Valhalla, sassed Odin, and then Odin resurrected her, right? So she's died, she's gone to Viking heaven, basically, right? But instead, she wants to be resurrected, and not only is she resurrected, but she's resurrected to the same cancer-ridden, diseased body that just expired. Worst resurrection ever. So I think, if anything, something like that would happen. Maybe not necessarily giving her cancer like the original Captain Marvel had, but again, finding some way to kill her and then immediately bring her back, which of course takes all the emotional pull and punch out of the death. Right? But death is like... Death, death in comics is like death in DBZ. It's terribly cheap, and it doesn't really stick. Now, that's the second question. Well, that's the first question. So no, I don't really think Carol's, or rather, rather this version of Carol Danvers, Captain Marvel, is going to die. Now, the question is, should she die? And I think, yes. I think that killing the character off would be good. Because, first of all, she is not well-received. She has not been well-received. And it doesn't matter which female writer they put on her, and they near exclusively put female writers on Captain Marvel. Keep in mind, it's male writers like Brian Reed, who wrote good stories for her, and it's male writers like Chris Claremont, who helped design her most iconic costume, the black swimsuit with the thunderbolt and domino mask and the thigh-high boots and all that. But you know, totally, let's, let's not put men on the book, right? Only women can write other women, because all women are the same, am I right? But anyway, despite whatever writers they put on the character, the stories end up being awful. So I actually think it would be good to kill the character off, shelve her for a few years, and let them find a writer who can actually write and who can actually redeem the character. Because that's what I think Carol needs. She needs a redemption story. She needs to be embraced by the fans again. And I think it can happen. But she needs to actually go through this period of making up for what she did. And she, she, she just needs an, an entire reboot, recent, really. And she needs to, to go back to being Miss Marvel. I don't care if Kamala Khan is the current Miss Marvel. Give Kamala Khan her own dang name and let Carol be Miss Marvel again. That's her name. But, long story short, I do think a death would help. You know, a little bit of out of sight, out of mind. You know, let the character rest a bit. Uh, again, find a writer who actually can write instead of just pushing an agenda. And I think that if put into the right hands, it could help. Will that happen? I don't know. But that's what I would like to see happen. So, uh, that's it. Right, so that's it, that's it. I would like to see her die. I think it would help the character, but she probably won't die. That's it for the video. I hope you all have um, a good week. Right, be safe. Have fun, get through the work week, and I will see you in the next video. Night night. If you had prepared 20 years ago, you wouldn't be letting IDW publish Spider-Man, why don't you do right? Like Comics Pros used to do.